Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to have you here. I hope you're all doing well. Today's pick a card reading is about the person on your mind, their thoughts and feelings about you. There are three piles for you to choose from. This is pile number one with the rose quartz crystal. Pile number two with the clear quartz crystal. And pile number three with the green fluorite crystal. Just choose the pile that you feel the most drawn to and after you're done choosing, you can skip ahead to your reading using the timestamps down below. But before we get started, please take a quick moment to hit like and also to subscribe to the channel for more readings like this in the future. And if you're interested in any of the decks that I'm going to use for today's reading, you'll find all the links in the description box below so you can check them out. And without further ado, I'll see you on your reading. Hello my dear pal number one, welcome to your reading for everyone who chose the Rose Quartz Crystal. So let's see what are your person's current thoughts and feelings about you. And as for the card that you were drawn to, we have the Ten of Pentacles. And this is a card that shows that your person is having really serious intentions about you and this connection. Like they think about you and them long term. So they have these dreams of getting married to you one day or being in a serious committed relationship of having something solid, maybe moving together, um, something like that, starting a family, you know, like building a life together and all of that. This is what the Ten of Pentacles is. It's like a life with you would be the most accomplishing thing for them or uh, fulfilling i feel like that's a better word uh it would be the most fulfilling thing and they do have like serious intentions and they dream about you in them long term okay let's take a look at your tarot cards now and see more about their current thoughts and feelings for you pile number one and we have the three of cups we have Knight of Pentacles, the Devil, Judgment card, Eight of Pentacles, Four of Cups, and Knight of Wands. Right, so, uh, pile number one, I feel like your person uh, really loves spending time with you, being around you with the Three of Cups. They want to be there for you, to support you, to be the person that you can count on. They are there to cheer you up at any win or support you at every, you know, more uh, downhill situation. Like they truly are like caring about you and they have this strong affection towards you. Um, and with the Knight of Pentacles, I, I see those generous energies really, really strongly. Uh, your person feels like they, they want to be there for you at any step of the way, like be that partner, that support system, that um, person that you can count on, the shoulder that you can lean on and all of that. Like they would help you in any shape or form possible that they can. Um, they want to also like be very committed to you. They, uh, again, it's com confirmed that they have very serious intentions about you in this connection. The Knight of Pentacles can be about thinking of coming to woo you, you know, asking to be together or coming with a serious uh, proposal, maybe even marriage. Or uh, for some, it might be like asking to uh, move together to bring a little bit more commitment and security in this relationship. You know, this is what the Knight of Pentacles is all about. Also, we see the Ten of Pentacles, which is about building more stability overall. And with Judgment, I do see that they are, they've made already a really important decision that's going to change everything. So this can be that they want to come towards you with this proposal or wanting to take a, a step further, you know, or when it comes to the stability of this connection. The Knight of Wands shows that also there's very strong attraction from their part. They're very attracted to you. They feel very drawn to you. They feel very passionate, you know, uh, towards you. And uh, they have this strong desire, you know, to be with you. And this passion in here and this desire really ties up with the devil here, which is about jealousy. So I feel like your person feels very jealous whenever you get to talk to, you know, other people, if you're interested in others. 
Um, also here with the four of cups, they get this feeling that you don't really accept them in, you don't really um, pay attention to them and you're focused on other maybe people or on other things and they could be jealous, not necessarily on a person, but maybe they want to get more attention from you and they could be jealous of you paying too much attention to other aspects of your life. But the devil speaks about jealousy or speaks about needing to feel like... Um, kind of in control uh and they would like to know more about like um you know who you're uh you know spending time with or why are you spending so much time with certain people like they feel they can feel a bit that, of that jealousy coming from too much passion and too much desire um and with the eight of pentacles i can see that they are really strongly uh, invested in this connection and they are willing to make it work no matter what to put in the effort to put in the energy uh to to work for this connection to to work for the success and the outcome the beautiful outcome of the ten of pentacles like to provide maybe for starting a family with you and be the provider to be the person that supports you is there for you you know no matter what as i said um so yeah this shows again commitment it shows investment like being really really into you and having serious intentions like wanting to build a solid foundation for this connection um so yeah this is what i'm picking up from your tarot cards let's take a look now at your oracles pal number one and see what else we have so let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others so um they're thinking about asking their friends you know maybe about how to get closer to you or how to get to know you better or how to ask you you know uh to be together or maybe if you've known each other for a long time like maybe ask their friends on how to create a bit of a surprise in how to propose to you uh but yeah i feel like maybe uh, asking things about you who you've been you know uh spending time with and all that like maybe asking that information from friends we have religious factors your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path so yeah your person i feel like it's very religious or very spiritually inclined or they put a lot of emphasis maybe on traditions and maybe marriage is one of them because i do see that a lot in here in your reading so maybe your person is definitely thinking yeah about uh getting married to you about um kind of securing that relationship into marriage and creating more stability because i feel like they truly need it here with the devil and all the jealousy maybe that would make them feel more in control or like feel like they've got more stability and more security from this connection we have the snake competition enemy clever yeah that's why the jealousy uh, we have that energy of them kind of seeing enemies or competition you know in uh you know around them when it comes to you in this connection let's see what else is coming through look passion is coming up again insane chemistry like each other equally having fun so they feel that you like them as well and that there's an you know there's an equal mutual uh energy regarding this connection and the feelings that you have for one another they have a very strong passion for you that's for sure with the knight of wands they feel very drawn to you they they feel this insane chemistry with you uh and they do want to like kind of explore that passion and have fun with it you know like really like um you know explore this desire and this strong connection let's see what else is coming through the way i have treated you was wrong so your person uh, is acknowledging the fact that they treated you the wrong way that they did something maybe out of jealousy out of need for control and they acted in a way that hurt you it is dark without you so your person is really not feeling happy you know without you they feel like you really uh missing you know out of their life and you were the you are the light of their life and now it is dark without you what is the truth again they're they're after something they're after some information or are learning something about you that they might suspect that you are interested in someone else that that's why you're rejecting them or you're not paying attention to them and they're wondering what is the truth because they seem to be very jealous i need to figure myself out at the same time they kind of need to work on themselves maybe this eight of pentacles can also show working on themselves but yeah 
they feel like they need to figure themselves out, you know, because um, they seem to have like a little bit of an issue or toxic uh, trait in here with the devil. But yeah, this is everything that I have for you, my dear panel number one. I really hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, don't forget to hit like and also subscribe to the channel for more readings like this. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next one. Until then, take care. Bye bye. Hello, my dear panel number two. Welcome to your reading for everyone who chose the clear quartz crystal. So let's see what are your person's current thoughts and feelings about you. And as for the card that you were drawn to, we have the strength card. So your person believes that you are someone like one of the strongest people that they've ever met. You are someone who has like a really uh, great inner strength, but also like who are very gentle, like who is very gentle. Um, so it's like your person sees you as a role model or like even a source of inspiration for how amazingly you are and how you overcome any challenges, how strong you are or how you've built, you know, this resilience um, and also like how gentle you are, like strong yet gentle and, and sweet, okay, or like how you managed to tame something that felt wild in, in your life, maybe uh, your ability is to, as I said, like overcome challenges or to be resilient or to face, you know, obstacles and they they truly feel inspired by you and they admire you that's for sure okay now let's see your tarot cards panel number two and get more information about how they think about you uh how they feel about you we have nine of cups five of wands okay the hanged man Ace of Pentacles. Let's see what else we have. Wow, you've got strength again. Pal number two is really, really confirming that your person is seeing you as someone who is very strong, very powerful, uh, very confident as well. Like someone who is, you know, confident in their own skin. Someone who is, you know, uh, truly like a solid rock and nothing seems to be taking you down um also you know uh, hand in hand with this comes the five of wands energy which shows that your person feels like you are someone that can be very like uh someone scared to 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 put up with like someone who can be very strong and also I don't want to mean aggressive, but like someone who can stand their ground or someone who knows how to put up a fight, you know, something like that. Um, and that you can, sometimes you can really have this uh, quick anger, you know, that can start this flame. I see a lot of fire energy. Maybe you are uh, either Leo energy or you identify with uh, any other fire energies, um, you know, sun, moon or... Um, you know, uh, sun, moon, or rising, but take it if it resonates. If it doesn't, don't worry too much about it. But I do see a lot of fire energy in here. Um, so again, passionate, uh, strong, but also like be quick to anger or someone who can really put up a fight, someone who can be, you know, like uh, daunting, uh, someone who can really like uh, get a bit of uh, fear into you, you know, like you, you don't really mess with pile number two. This is how they think. And with the hangman, they believe that you are someone who is very also unique and you have like a very creative mind. You always like that person that can stand out of a crowd that you, you can think outside of the box. You know, they see you as someone who is very wise and yeah, like really kind of uh have a lot of knowledge or be quite enlightened you know about a lot of things um your person seems to be wanting to have uh, a serious relationship with you here with the ace of pentacles like wanting to come towards you in um kind of ask you to be together or um ask so you can have more commitment in this connection the pentacles are all about commitment and stability uh, for some if it resonates here with the knight of wands 
sorry, Nine of Cups, this shows um, fulfillment, this shows that they are very happy with you, with uh, this connection, they feel very fulfilled, like nothing else is missing, they don't need anything else, like they feel like complete, right? <laughs> and uh, this might be their desire to kind of step up with the commitment here with the Ace of Pentacles kind of proposing to you, getting married or asking to be in a serious relationship, um, like getting you know, to move in together. But for some, it can be because they just feel this um, admiration towards you and inspiration towards you. They really see in you a true uh, potential for a partner for a lifetime, something serious, something long term. They they like what they see. They love who you are. They admire you. And therefore, they want something serious with you. Okay, let's take a look at your oracles now and see more about their thoughts and feelings for you so we have romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring and free yourself it's time to take back control of your life so yeah pal number two your person definitely has real feelings for you that's why they even want something serious they are thinking long term they are thinking commitment uh they they have real romantic feelings for you okay uh in case you were wondering if they have like romantic feelings for you or not but here with for yourself it's time to take back control of your life they see you as a free spirit that's for sure with a hangman like a more unique person someone who's uh, standing out from the crowd doesn't take the you know most walked path like you are your own uh, leader and they see you as someone who makes you know your path or your way and you choose what's you know your way and um they see you as someone who is in control of their life someone who has you know kind of the hang of what you want to do in life of not accepting to stay in a situation that doesn't make them happy that doesn't treat them the right way like you are someone who loves independence they see you as someone who loves you know your freedom in a, in kind of values their freedom so yeah they see you maybe uh for some it might resonate at least you as being in a situation that you are having the inner strength to free yourself that you've got what it takes to free yourself you've got that power the inner strength but yeah let's see what else is coming through mask someone uh or not it says not showing through feelings i thought i saw someone hide person if i pretend dilute gaslighting so uh with mask is like they believe that someone is wearing a mask and not showing through feelings perhaps is that why they think that you are someone who doesn't show feelings quite uh, easily or really fast and that you might hide what feelings you have for them we have hand of cards take a chance risk being strategic options not showing hand so they want to take a chance on you in this connection that's for sure we've got here the ace of pentacles they want to take a chance in asking you to be together or uh, asking you know to move in together to be more solid to have something more secure but yeah let's see some other cards for you pal number two and see what else we have I need to figure myself out so yeah this person uh needs to kind of like figure themselves out before they take this chance i feel like before they will come with the offer i can't promise you anything so yeah they don't know exactly like what the outcome of this connection gonna be like but they have a good feeling about it i don't want to be alone they want to be with you but for those of you if this five of wands means that you've been you know in um fighting if you've been in like conflict a lot like misunderstandings then i do see that this person is trying to work out the solution and come with a proposal here i need to figure myself out and then come with an offer but i can't promise you anything that's going to work out but i don't want to be alone you know let's see what else is coming through i want to be different so they want to be a better person i'm sensing a better version for you to offer you you know what you de truly deserve pal number two because they, they think very highly of you okay so this is everything that i have for you today i really hope you enjoyed the reading if you did don't forget to hit like and also subscribe to the channel for more readings like this thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next one until then take care bye bye 
Hello my dear Palumbo 3, welcome to your reading for everyone who chose the green fluorite crystal. So let's take a look at what are your person's current thoughts and feelings about you. And as for the card that you were drawn to, we have the Six of Swords. So this is showing me that your person is thinking about moving on okay so they are thinking about finding something better for them uh, that there might must be something better out there or they're looking for something you know that's gonna bring them more uh, value that they feel it will resonate more with them it looks like they're thinking about letting this connection you know in the past and move forward okay so this is what i'm picking up with this card this is about kind of packing up your life and moving towards better waters you know sailing towards better uh, a better place so let's take a look now at your tarot cards and get more details about your person's current thoughts and feelings okay we have the tower for pile number three okay so pentacles okay we have strength in. for some it might be that they want to leave behind something else if it resonates that way if they're you know caught up in a connection if they are already with someone um, it does show that they might want to you know move forward from that but from what i can see here it's more towards the first thing what i said because we have the tower and it's all about things crumbling down you know like this they feel that this connection has reached its uh end that this is you know crumbling down uh, and it came a bit of as a shock like it feels a bit overwhelming like this is a huge shift for them a huge change and it feels like with the tower that they believe that everything else in their life kind of pushes them in towards this direction it's like kind of not their decision but they feel pushed towards this direction they feel like it's what's meant to be and what's going to be the best for everyone involved this is what the tower is they feel like uh this might be you know uh, overwhelming this might not be the most comfortable uh, thing to go through but it's what's needed this is what the tower is they believe that this is actually a blessing in disguise and this transition might not be the easiest but what's after that and what's coming you know further it must be much better uh with the ten of wands i do see that they're exhausted that they are tired they they are not happy or comfortable dealing with this transition and with all these changes with all these um you know situation but it looks like they're pushing through they're trying they're trying to stay strong they're trying to you know uh remain strong for the fact that they know that what's next might be what's meant for them and what's best for them they're trying to be to remain strong look we even have the inner strength it's like they're embracing themselves you know their inner child and they're like uh stay strong like you know uh i know i can do it um they, they're trying to be resilient and push through here with the ten of wands i can see a lot of that energy um also with the hangman they're trying to see the situation through a different perspective they're trying to not see it as you know this um uh, a catastrophe of like oh the, with the tower everything is crumbled everything is burning down to the ground nothing works things are you know ending and uh, this can be quite disheartening and depressing and, and upsetting but they're trying to see the situation with a different pair of lens like through a different perspective to have more of a open mind and think outside of the box you know be like you know maybe this is what's meant to happen maybe everything is just pushing me towards the direction that i need to go through um and this is what the hangman kind of brings to the situation with the ace of pentacles i do see that they're starting a new chapter you know where they want to feel more grounded they want to feel more stable they want something that feels more stable than this tower than this connection you know because uh, with the tower as i said it's kind of like they feel it wasn't built on a strong foundation to begin with and it was meant to crumble at any time and now it just happened now is the time everything led to this moment and there's like nothing that they can do this is how they feel they feel helpless they feel like there's nothing that they can do and they just have to go with it okay and uh, with the ace of pentacles is like they want to start a new chapter a new beginning based on more security feeling more grounded feeling more stable you know in themselves and um yeah i feel like it has to do with how they feel inwards you know let's take a look at some oracle cards now for you pal number three and see what we have 
separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon it's just confirming what i saw yeah your person wants to find you know something better or to start a fresh chapter and kind of uh try something new see things you know differently so time apart from your partner is on the horizon chemistry there's a strong magnetic attraction here so they are very attracted to you pile number three they still got feelings for you and a strong attraction that's why it requires a lot of inner strength for from their part to kind of go through this because it's not easy i'm sensing you know uh healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents so it looks like also they need to go through a healing process they want to find that stability inwards that i was feeling earlier and it comes down to healing you know wounds from the past childhood traumas and all that i sense that they just want to kind of start a new chapter where they focus on themselves maybe it's not a chapter that's for good maybe it's not like a full separation because it says time apart from your partner is on the horizon so that this might be a break that they want you know they feel the need for a break to focus on themselves to gather you know themselves and to sort out their life and their um you know mind or emotions let's see what else is coming through For pile number three karmic relationship flitting triggers turmoil resentment lessons letting go and loving you okay so they do love you they do have feelings for you but they believe that this was a karmic relationship and that it's time to let go of this connection or to let go of certain traumas and wounds that kind of were uh setting up this relationship for failure to begin with as i said and they feel like this was all uh kind of like about flitting feelings triggers turmoils that all came as a package with this connection there was a lot of resentment that they need to let go of and they've learned a lot of lessons or they feel like there's a lot of lessons to learn from this connection we have not enough frustrated in relationship lack of confidence self-sabotage fear ego issues jealousy so definitely again some issues that they need to be working on they feel like there wasn't enough you know in a connection that they were frustrated you know that there was a lack of confidence that they weren't enough for you uh and that maybe you in you know kind of instig that feeling into them but they feel that they kind of sabotaged you know and it was set up to for failure you know this connection to begin with because of these issues there will always probably jealousy or frustration or lack of confidence you know and there were a lot of turmoil as i said palm tree stability security permanence growth endurance flexibility this is what they're looking after with the palm tree and the ace of pentacles they are looking for stability for more security but i feel like it's about themselves like kind of healing and finding that sense of being grounded and stability in themselves they are growing as a person you know and we have twin flames yin and yang zen balance union duality coupling complement each other they do feel like you two are very different and that you can balance each other you're like a yin and yang you could balance each other you could create that beautiful union and complement each other but they feel like these differences were actually kind of working against you instead of for you because of like things that need to be worked on you know like shadow work and, and healing and all that because uh if it were for them to feel complete and healed and uh to be like part of a healthy relationship then they feel like you could have made this work for you instead of against you but they feel like these differences came against you you know let's see some more uh cards Let's see what else we have for you the way i have treated you was wrong so they acknowledge that they treated you the wrong way and they are uh, regretting that pile number three how could you ever forgive the mess i've made so again it's like they believe that they've made a great mess they did something to hurt you in that they believe how could you ever forgive them i don't understand it's like they need healing they need clarity they need time for themselves here with the uh the hangman they need clarity they need to see things from a different perspective whoa okay we've got a bunch of cards falling but i'm gonna keep them people don't believe in me again like uh lack of confidence and they kind of put their maybe value into other people's opinion i want to be different they're want to be a different person they want to be more stable more secure in themselves why is it that you love me again that lack of confidence 
okay we have sex with you so they truly attracted to you they still got that attraction that passion towards you the passion exactly i feel is overwhelming i don't know how to handle this because it's hard because they've still got passion for you as i said feels hard feels like a challenge it feels like a struggle you know they do think about you that way in a, you know in an intimate way they will they have a strong desire to be with you they have a strong passion their attraction for you but they need they've realized like they need some time apart to kind of work things through this is what i'm picking up from your reading pal number three okay so this is everything that i have for you today i really hope you found value into your reading if you did don't forget to hit like and also subscribe to the channel for more readings like this thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next one until then take care bye bye